I posted a video um, on Flames Nation a couple days ago last week. And it's just, it's, it's content that we do. We put out guys' birthdays, you know, Martin Jelena, you know, we've had Oliwa on there. I posted a video of Mike Camilleri. Uh, it was his mm-hmm. birthday last week. So shout out to Mike Camilleri. And it was a video of him just tipping one in. It was his first game back um, when we reacquired him um, from Montreal. So it was his first game back. His parents were in the crowd. He tipped it in. Great call on Hockey Night in Canada. And the comment section was ripping me for not, they're like, you couldn't find a better goal than a tip in. Like, like, did I not just explain it there that it was when we first, we reacquired him. It was a Saturday night. They were wearing the, they were wearing the 89 jerseys, which mm-hmm. wasn't, it wasn't yeah. a common thing back in 2012 or whatever it was. It wasn't a common thing. And his parents were there. So we get enough flack from Oilers and Oilers nation that we don't need our own fans going at us in the comic sec- comment section. So lay off, just lay off fans, relax. It's a video. It's not going to ruin your day. Like it did to a couple guys in the, in the, in the comments section. So now what that brings me into is that kind of got me thinking about the Mike Camilleri years. And I want to know what you remember of the Mike Camilleri years, because I remember when we, we got him, it was a trade of the draft in yeah. 08 when we got mm-hmm. him. Um, it was a big deal. Like Camilleri was, uh, I'm going to pull up his stats right here. Like he, he scored a right. lot of goals. He scored a lot of goals. And I'm looking at him right now with the LA Kings. Like, you know, he was a 30 goal scorer, 80 points, you know, 50 points, you know, we caught, we got him in O in 08. And it was, let me see here. We traded my, we traded to, um, it was a three-way trade with the ducks. We ended up giving away a first round pick, right. but we got Mike Camilleri back in a second round pick, which turned into Mitch Wall. I don't know if anybody remembers that WHL. He turned into like a surfer. Well, oh, I remember. Yeah, like mm-hmm. California surfer dude that didn't result into anything. So, <laughs> Mike Camilleri was he he like I would call him a forever a flame because he really only played here for four years, mm-hmm. uh, in and out too. So I you know I wouldn't yeah. call him you know our definition of a forever a flame is the guy that kind of came and had a cup of coffee. But uh, you know, Cammy played with a Ginla and you know he put up some goals and scored and. And that uh, was his best season as a flame, 82 points in 0809. Yeah, like yeah. That 80, was his best season of his entire career. Yeah, it was because he had 80, 80 points in 2006 with the LA Kings yeah. and then 82 points in 0809 with Calgary. Mm-hmm. And then I'm looking at it, he just he never got over 50 after that year. Even after we reacquired him, he just never got There's over only 50. one year where he got over 50, and that was uh the first year he was with the house. But yeah, like he he just he just never got back to that, you know, elite ability like like he did mm-hmm. in 08 and 09 so from what i'm seeing here is in 08 09 we had him for that year and then and then we only had him for the one year and then he went to montreal yep. so apparently the flames had some cap issues like in in 08 09 um like i don't even know if that was around the time where we, we kept flip-flopping like yoking it around like i remember we had him and then we lost them and then we brought him well back what and- happened what i remembered though <clears throat> was they had to make a decision at that point, considering right. Camilleri was reaching free agency. And yeah. then at that point, they decided not to resign him. And that's how the Jay Boymister trade it trade. Right, ended up, right. And it transpired. Right, right. So they they just they just couldn't afford him, right? So he goes to Montreal. Um what oh nine ten. Well it wasn't that they could afford him. They just they didn't they never they didn't they choose to put, resign him. They just yeah they just didn't put yeah. up the money. They just didn't well which uh, I think was a big mistake. That they let yeah. Tammy walk and then sign Boymister. Like, yeah. I think that was a massive mm-hmm. error around the Flames. Uh, Daryl Sutter's part at that point. I love Daryl, but mm-hmm. I'm sorry. He was a crappy <laughs> general man. <laughs> he wasn't good. Yeah, we could. One day we'll get into the FNUF trade. And I, ugh. oh gosh. Yeah, I don't want to get into that now. That was, that was a tough one. <sighs> but I'm, yeah, looking at it right now. So he had 50 points the next year in Montreal in 65 games. And then he had 19 points in 19 playoff games. So that, and that, I remember that was tough to watch just yeah. seeing him just light it up in the playoffs too. And thinking like we had this guy and this was around the time where we kept getting bounced in the first round. Like we'd lose to the mm-hmm. sharks and we lost to like Chicago and Detroit, Detroit. before that. Right. Yeah. You know, we, we invested in like Yokinen who didn't do anything and we'll do. Oh the my Yoke, God. The when, I'll tell you the story. I'll tell you the story. When yeah. Yokinen made his debut, I was like, Oh my God, we're yeah, so, winning the Stanley cup. So was I, man. Yeah. Like I was, I yeah when when Jokinen got brought into Calgary I was fired up man because he was a good mm-hmm. player he was a good player for Calgary but he just didn't he didn't do anything for well us, only right? for that second half and he he was completely like mm-hmm. he he was none he was not even there in the in the postseason and then afterwards it was just 
all downhill from there. Yeah. Yeah, that was. And then the guy that's all that's, that's linked to um, linked to Mike Camilleri is always going to be Rene Bork. So when we picked up Rene Bork uh, from Chicago, uh, we, I think we traded, yeah, I'm looking up here. We traded a second round pick for him uh, in Chicago and he was still a rookie at the time. So he was an RFA and we signed him right away. And then yeah. Uh, yeah, like I don't know if you remember Rene Bork, but man, oh I guy, do, oh that absolutely, guy could, that guy could score some goals, and he did it right he was away too. Clutch, and, yeah, and no, very stuff. Clutch player, a big player, had a big shot. Um, like I looked it up, he had 21 goals, and then he had 20... a lot of potential. Yeah, because he was like, still he young, was, very yeah. young. Like he played physical. Like back in 08, 09, it wasn't quite, it wasn't back in the 90s or whatever, but it was still a rough game. Like guy, guys still carried three, four heavyweights or whatever, so he had to be mm-hmm. a big body. Uh, like I said, he scored 21 goals, 27, 27. And then for whatever reason, he just dropped off that next year. And uh, mm. let me look at it right now, whatever year that was, uh, that was 2011, 2012. Yeah. So he started out uh, very, very poorly. I remember, remember that too, because we're all hyped up. The guy's coming off back to back 27 goal seasons. We're all hyped up for him. And then he comes out and just lays an egg. And I, I remember this because the, 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 the story with Camilleri and Bork was the in-game trade, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I can't remember if Bork was actually playing in our game because uh, both teams... Camilleri were, was playing yeah, in his... I can confirm Camilleri got pulled from the bench yeah. in Montreal. It was mm-hmm. in Boston, actually. He got yep. pulled from the bench, but I can't... I think Bork was actually out. Yeah, Bork was out. Bork was scratch. So I was at the game, whatever the Flames were playing, and I'm, I'm up in the press level during the game so this is 2012 or whatever it was so twitter's not like it was now like you get something happens and frank cervelli tweets about it before it actually happened so like frank in the seattle <laughs> the seattle draft leaking, <laughs> leaking all the pick good one frank but um it's you could still get information on your phone but it just wasn't as quick right so mm-hmm. i'm sitting up in the press level <clears throat> and then uh I'll, the boardwalk where you can see them kind of walk out in front um we saw jay feaster pop up and go walking across the boardwalk and right. everyone's like what what is feaster leaving mid game like what's going on here and like you know fans are kind of cheering and clapping he's waving or whatever and then like he's gone for a while and then it's then it starts popping up whether it was somebody told me or someone saw it on Twitter. Someone just saw it on you know back then you you, you utilized the apps more than you did Twitter like Sportsnet and the Score and TSN. So maybe it right. popped up on there, and we knew that Camilleri got traded and Rene Bork got traded back in mid game. So then and then and then I'm up in the press level and then the whole building starts cheering and stuff too, right? Like for no reason and and everyone right. realized that that's the Camilleri trade, and mm-hmm. then Feaster ends up walking back uh to his spot and everybody sees him and everybody in the press level gives him a standing ovation and starts getting up and like clapping because we got cammy back right? right so that was a, that was a good memory of mine seeing that uh camillary came back didn't do as much before yeah. like we talked about he didn't break 50 points or anything like that and the mm-hmm. crappy thing about camillary was he came back at a bad time where I think the flames were all in and we just weren't doing it. We never made the playoffs. Right. Right. Like they brought in Bowmeister. We still had a Ginla. Uh, Fanuf had been gone at that point. Um, so they, they began the rebuild, the, the whatever yeah. year that was. And they got rid of Bowmeister and they got rid of a Ginla. And Cammy kind of stuck around and for Kemper a little. retired. And yeah. So he was there at a bad time, right. Where we weren't winning. And uh, so he stuck around for a bit and I, whether it was, a, I think he went to New Jersey after that and yeah. the agency or something like that. And, bounced around and i didn't even know this until i looked it up it like uh he uh ended his career with their with our friends up in edmonton <laughs> that's right so, yeah he did yeah so that that was like recently like i think like as 